Welcome to the largest wine cellar in the world. 150 miles worth of underground network of tunnels that has the largest wine collection in the world as well. Hello, we're going today to see only Frank Kulamak, but not more. There are still some unexplored places where you can really get close because of a lack of uh, overlights over and a lot of dust and crossroads. 12, 14 degrees Celsius. In oak barrel, uh, wine is aged for one up to three years, but not one. Mm -hmm. What is too much, it is uh, not better for the wine itself too. Yes, this is a tank, stainless uh -huh. steel tank. Uh -huh. They are made for storing wine, but at the same time... So this barrel is an oak barrel, it holds about 7,000 liters. And the metal barrel holds uh, 12,000 liters, so that's the difference. The more wine there is, the better it is to store it in a metal barrel. Just behind the gates here, mm -hmm. these are private owned collections. So a person is able to pay a rental fee of 300 euro per year and then to fill it with the wines. Mm -hmm. Temperature conditions are ideal for the wine here. So this is the reason why collectors would prefer to store it here instead of their home or somewhere else because obviously it's taken care of. The oak barrels last about 30 years and then, then it's transferred into tanks and then into bottles. These things are called the casa, these little holes. Well, they're because they hold from up to 1,000 bottles inside the hole and they don't have no stickers or labels because it would ruin the quality of the wine. On top of the corks, you put wax and every three years, you have to change it, the wax, because it becomes moldy. I speak about the um, total value of this amount of wine of 55 million euros. Mm -hmm. The average price of a bottle is around uh, 27 euro. 1 million 500 thousand. Wow. Well, I would say more or less, because um, this number is volatile. When the demand appears, um, mm -hmm. some of the bottles are going away. Oh. Uh, after new harvest, uh, new bottles are put here. Mm -hmm. We have two types of, uh, of uh, cork here. Um, some of the, of the bottles bear a cork made from one single piece. Other bottles bear a cork made uh, under pressure, so from several mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. If you ask me which is the best, I would say both of them, or both of them are not good. Because even one piece can have some malformation from its inside, which cannot be seen uh, uh, crystal clear by the eye. Mm. But yes, the cork is special because it is uh, the bark of a tree, um, Cursina from Spain, and that, um, that lay, that bark, have to, to, to grow for uh, 25 years. Behind the door, by the way, we can have a glass, if you please. The secret room. Secret room, but there was wine here. Wasn't there wine? It was. There was wine here, so why would, you, why would they make a secret room? To store the most expensive wines, ah, if okay. someone wanted to destroy them. So it still operates? You can still move this? And, yes, but uh -huh. uh, it, it weighs seven tons. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet wines can last for even a century because of uh, the uh, amount of alcohol. Mm. It works as a constant mm -hmm. aging. So supposedly this is the most expensive one here, $1,500, it's a vermouth. The tree of, of drunkness. <laughs> so when you get drunk you sit under the tree or what's the story? No, no, no. <laughs> At the basement we have a homo sapiens, uh, the wisest being on earth, mm -hmm. step by step. We change the, our soberness with some craziness, so we level up until we reach the the last floor of being drunk like drunk. I see. So here we have the face that is still of a sober man. Sober man. And then, then it turns into a more happy, funny, crazy, and drunk like drunk. An interesting part about this is that only half of the tunnels that are being used, the other half haven't been discovered or dug out. And these tunnels were originally mines for limestone limestone excavations in the 1970s it was turned into the warehouse of wine storage <laughs> Oh, 
How long could wine last in these clay vessels back then? Oh, I think uh, not so much not because so much. of this interaction with air. Yeah, they didn't have like proper cork yeah. system, right? And wine was sour. Uh -huh. But Greeks, Romans used to sweeten it using honey, using water. There is culture strip. Culture, we couldn't we could associate culture with a Bordeaux wine. A Bordeaux wine uh, represents um, a mixture between Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Not only is this the largest wine cellar in Europe and in the world, it also has the largest wine collection in the world. Over 1.5 million bottles were stored where we were. Also, this wine cellar is state owned, so any profits that are being made here, they go to the state. Hopefully they use it for the benefit of the public.